I'm here today with uh, Jason. Jason is one of our um, Cert 4 students with TIB. So Jason, what made you come to TIB? Well, I've been trying to extend my skills, like, you know, into, in order to um, go pet for rules licence, you know. I've been in the industry for over 10 years now, and um, I've developed a lot of skills along the way in, you know, different aspects of the trade. But um, in order to tie them all up and get a better <coughs> ground like knowledge on everything, I thought I'll develop them skills by um, company search for, get myself all um, underway in the process of golf and rules license. So cur currently, what do you cover outside? Well, at the moment, um, I'm self-employed as a carpenter. Uh -huh. um, strictly, I'm doing lock up and fixing at the moment. I've done um, a lot of framing back in my early days. Uh -huh. I've done it for about five or six years straight. Just Tricky door frames. Um, starting with um, time, I was doing um, conventional roofing mainly. So it wasn't until like three years in I touched the first truss roof. So oh, okay. I got fairly good um, knowledge on the background, on the um, old school. So yeah, knowledge and skills are up there. So yeah. now you've decided to do your surf four. Yep. Yeah. So how how do you feel about the course? Like, is it giving you what you're after? Oh, definitely. Is it? Too chunky, or is it bite size? Oh, well, look, I, I find that it's suiting my needs. You know what I mean? Like it's providing the the adequate information that I want in order to you know, establish the knowledge to go ahead and pursue as a builder. I mean, I've discussed um, with other people that I know of that have gone through their set fours through different, um, you know, take courses and companies that do these sort of things, and I have to admit that um. CIB does provide a very large amount of detailed, you know, resources. Yeah, resources in, in okay. order to um, know what's involved with the um, actual building industry, like if your laws, acts, regulations, and you know, your codes and that. So, so eventually, once you leave CIB, yeah. you're gonna go for your building resources. Most definitely, I will. Um, obviously, I'm gonna go ahead with the application yeah. form, fill that out, do my business management. With uh, business management plan, which I obviously learned in great detail from TIB. Mm -hmm. uh, provide all that for obviously warranty insurance and public liability and all that. So, um, have you ever done a business plan before? To be honest, not to this scale. Like for, for myself, as, as a carpenter, yes, I have worked out a structure for my business plan, but not into the sense like what is involved in order to build a house because I was never required of like, you know, my trade. But obviously, when you come down to being a builder, there's a lot more elements involved and the ground colour, you know what I mean? So, right, so as, as today, we did um, uh, form work, yeah. boxing. How did you find that? Well, I found that pretty good. I mean, uh, I've had experience in the past doing um, this sort of stuff. I've actually done concrete for two years. Um, mainly it was um, conventional slab. Did do a few pods. Yeah. Um, so pretty much all the knowledge I've gained from that did obviously help here today, but um, yeah, I was pretty happy with the outcome and how we all went up on doing it. Covering all the areas of squaring and making sure boxes parallel and level and laps are all correct. And, um, trench mesh as well as um, top mesh and all your bars, yeah, so. So as well, give you the experience to look when you get concreters to do slabs for you. When you get any trade to do stuff for you, yeah. you've got that one step ahead, what to look for. Exactly right. So, yeah. you see, like my, my um, theory is that no matter what um, trade requires the um, inspector, I myself would like to be present at the moment. Because, you know, everyone's human, everyone can always miss that one thing. Exactly. An extra set of eyes can always help and prevent any, like, you know, future, you know, damages or, you know, problems. So. So do you think TIB is setting you up for the right pathway to oh, get your builder's ticket? Yeah, exactly. Oh, like, like I said, like I've discussed with other people that have gone for this course and mm -hmm. in comparison to what they're learning and how they go upon, um, you know, assessing the student, TIB is pretty much up there. That's, that's my personal opinion. So I'm glad that I have um, entered through the TIB system. So. Sweet. All right, James, thanks for your time. Jason, sorry. No, he's good, thank you. Oh, thank you.